Good morning, my Green Light the Day family. Uh, happy Monday. Um, it's Kelly. I am truly struggling with today's green light. Um, we have these times where it is just tough when we find ourselves in the midst of the storms and we just have to hold on and get through and I know I'll get through and I have learned so much and the green light the day things have taught me I need to take a deep breath because I just um, so I just I don't want to go into the details they're not important uh, I've just been hurting and it's hard and I was away on vacation I wish I could say that it was a great vacation but it was a difficult one and my mind has just it's been tough but the universe is holy shit <sighs> screaming screaming things at me so I guess let me share some of the things the universe is screaming at me um, as I turn on Facebook I see things like if you don't like where you are, then change it. You are not a tree. Um, Janie posted something up yesterday and I had to print it out because it was profound for me. Um, it was 10 things, uh, things in life that we forget and we need reminders of. Um, number one, average human life is relatively short and the last paragraph in number one was live your life today don't ignore death but don't be afraid of it either be afraid of a life you never lived because you were too afraid to take action death is not the greatest loss in life the greatest loss is what dies inside you while you're still alive be bold be courageous be scared to death and then take the next step anyway I still haven't gotten past that. <sighs> um, I was only able to watch uh, two of last week's Green Light the Day, and that was um, Zen Maiden's Everything Happens for a Reason and uh, Trish's, and both very apropos, I guess, for where we are. I mean, we're all a product of our experiences and we receive it. Um, I don't even know if I'm babbling at this point, guys, but this is where I'm at. And what I know is that a lot of people in my position would be very angry right now. And I think that I've been able to move or be mature enough to know that anger is just a product of pain and that it's not going to get me anywhere. So I've been able to sit with the pain. I'm smart enough to realize not to make any rash decisions while I'm raw and sitting in this pain, trying to get centered and get some sleep and come from a place of love. <sighs> you know, trying to figure out do I need to find a new identity? Do I need to make major changes? Changes that won't just affect me but others around me. So I guess uh, you know I didn't know what I was going to title this. I didn't even know what the lesson was going to be. But all I can think of as I draw to a conclusion with this is deep breath. Take a deep breath. 
and I need to sit with things. Know that I have found growth and I do know whatever I decide, I'll be okay. It's just going to be difficult. Either way, you know, it's just, um, I guess, you know how I talk about life changes on a dime? When you see your life go in a certain way, things happen. And in an instant, your whole life has changed. That happens a lot. <laughs> and it's happened often in my lifetime. So I am well versed with the fact that I will eventually land on my feet. So deep breath. Deep breath. And tomorrow's another day. Have a good day, guys. Hello, my Green Light the Day family. This is part two of Deep Breath. Um, I have a rare opportunity here that this part two was made a day later. And I ended my last video by saying tomorrow is another day and uh, sometimes what a difference a day can make. Um, has my situation changed? No. Uh, perspective maybe. And um, so here's some of the, the lessons that I've learned that I'm holding on to to get through. That I am strong I will land on my feet, however this ends up. Um, and in talking with a good friend today, again, without getting into too much detail, um, she pointed out that a lot of what's going on is really about me. And I've changed so much. I've outgrown. I have grown that I've outgrown the situation that I'm in. Um, it's hard. I'm sorry without getting into too much detail. But sometimes I just think the details aren't important. It's, it's the depth. And... What I know is I don't want to leave decisions in someone else's hands. I need to make the decisions, what's right for me. I don't want to make any rash decisions. I need to sit with things. I need to go with my gut. I need to pray a lot. But Yesterday, I was hurting. I was just in such a painful place. And I'm still hurting, but with a different perspective now, I know I am in for a long road, but I guess knowing that I have people like you guys in my corner helps give me strength and life is short I have to be true to myself and I guess I'm struggling with <clears throat> my authenticity and having to let go of what society deems proper and right and 
the guilt that I put on myself because of society's constraints, the bottom line is this is the one life I'm given to live and I am 42 years old and my children will be happy if I'm happy. And that's a broad statement and it's not as simple as that. But I just wanted to be able to give the blessing of the difference a day has made and the effect of having a very wise, compassionate sounding board, friendship, sisterhood um, that we have in each other. Um, the universe is speaking to me, you all are speaking to me, and I need it, and when I need it, you give it to me. I'm just profoundly appreciative. So I hope this touches one of you, some of you. I'm touched, and I hope that I haven't babbled too much and that you could understand because I'm really working through some shit. And you know what? We all have shit that we have to work through. And I am, I was going to say that I'm sorry this isn't uplifting, but sometimes life isn't always uplifting, you know? and. Through the pain is where the growth is. And I'm able to be uplifting when I get on to the other side. I just gotta go, I gotta work through this shit. I gotta figure this shit out. What's best for me? And it's not a simple decision. So, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Janie will edit this for me uh, because I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Um, I love you, and I am coming from a place of love. I am learning to be able to express myself and express my pain for the rawness of what it is and not lash out in the anger. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of growth for me, and so many of you to thank for that, truly. Um, Thanks, guys.